a major mess after Irma. That's how the St. John's River is being described after the hurricane forced water into streets and homes along the river's banks. Yeah, who could forget that video? It has now since receded, but now concerns are growing about the health of the river itself. Channel 4's Chris Parento is joining us now live. And Chris, you spoke to the river keeper. Is the river better, off, better or, or worse off this year compared to last? It's a little bit of both, to tell you the truth. Jen, last year, uh, there was a lot more sewage that was spilled into the St. John's River after Hurricane Matthew than there was this year during Hurricane Irma. But because of all the flooding this year with Irma, there's a lot more that's in the river now that wasn't in it last year. From the surface, the St. John's River looks peaceful and pretty close to normal. But after Irma. I mean, when you're, when you're inundated with floodwaters like this, you get gasoline, you get oil, you get chemicals from Superfund sites, um, you get sewage, you know, it's just a toxic soup right now. And so you As the river rushed into the streets last week during the storm, it collected a lot of what normally wouldn't end up in the water. Over time, the river will clean itself out, but that could be a lengthy process. Recreationally, would you say the river's safe right now? Um, I would say be cautious. I mean, you know, you need to really focus on looking out for that debris because it moves around with the tide. Because of how slow the river flows, a lot of toxins and debris will be around for a while, making it potentially hazardous for boaters. The Riverkeeper also told me that in the southern areas of the St. Johns River, down around DeLand, they saw a major fish kill earlier this week that believed to be because of the higher than usual waters and the higher than usual toxins in the St. John's River. So far, though, none of those have been seen in our area. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station. Chris, is there anything that residents can do to help? The Riverkeeper says that she just wants people to be alert, be on the lookout for the toxic algae blooms, those bright green algae blooms that we've seen many times over the last few years throughout the area around the St. John's River. She says people that live along the river, people that walk along the river, if you see any of those, to let the St. John's River Keeper know. They'll go out and they'll test those and they'll see what's causing them to do their best to try to get rid of them.